There are many reasons for projecting a coordinate reference system of a layer. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can project a raster or vector layer. You can check the description on how to import a layer if this video is just meant for practice alone. So first, let's add our layer panel, layers panel. Right click on your toolbar here and go to layers panel. Now let's try it out with a raster layer. This is a raster layer population data set. You can either double click on it to open the properties or right click and click properties. Now here you have the information about the layer. On the information pane, you can see, scroll down to the coordinate reference system. So you can easily see the reference system that you are working with. On the bottom right of your QGIS window, you can also find the reference system. There are many reasons, like I said, one of it is the units. Sometimes you might want to perform analysis and you want your reference system to show its units, like buffering. So, to reproject, you obviously will have a coordinate and alternative reference system in mind, but one way to get one to work with is using the OpenStreetMap. So you go to Web, Quick Map Services, OSM, and then click on OSM Standard. The OpenStreetMap gives you option an option for its coordinate reference system. And then you can easily work with it. Now you can see in this case, the open OSM is in meters. So easily copy this. So for a raster file to reproject the layer, click on raster. And then projections, warp, in brackets, reproject. Name it layer and select your population data sets. Your source, remember it was um, 4326 to VJS 84. And your target, this is my target, but if you haven't used this reference system before now you will not find it here so let's imagine that's the case we click on the select crs button by the side use the drop down to select the predefined crs and then search let's expand this to make it have a better value to us. As you can see, when you click on the reference system, you see some of its properties here. And you also see, you also see the coverage on the world map. Not all reference systems are meant for everywhere. For example, this reference system is perfect for setting locations in Africa and in Europe. So I love to search and then you find your preferred reference system and click on and just go back. It's selected. Leave everything here as default. Open output file, check the box and then for the projected file Click on the drop down here and click save to file. Choose your preferred directory. Choose your preferred directory and then just choose your name. Call it Special Data Hub. Do also subscribe to my channel if you haven't and like the video as well. 
When you're done with everything, you run. The process is pretty much the same and straightforward for okay so you can close so you see special little up here right click go back to the properties and go to information and you see it it has been projected to any coordinate system so it's pretty much the same thing for a vector layer go to processing go to toolbox I see it here at times you might click on it and it's also on layer styling so just click back to the processing toolbox here look out for vector general and then we project layer double click on it to open this one is a lot simpler let's select hmm Oh, wow we didn't confirm our layer projection system already okay okay let's select this it also has 4326 these selected features only can be used for multiple features in the layer so you want to reproject just a number of them use the um You click on those features and then this one becomes activated. So your target CRS, the same thing, the same pattern. You can either select it from here or if you haven't worked with it before, you open it up and filter your search by it. Filter search, click. Check out the properties if you're cool with it. Check out the projection reach and then go back. Open out to file and run, run, run algorithm. Click on the drop down, select save to file and save. Yeah, don't run.